What is a what is a trivia show music? I don't even know. That Look shit's at, so old. <laughs> Welcome. Like Welcome to Animal Trivia. Look at Chase, bro. I feel like such a head ass. Look at Chase. Got this feel... nice ass suit on, and then these like Amazon pit vipers. That Why you are you talking wear. shit about my pit vipers, dude? I, I'm like Joe Shiesty now. I think you look do, like do a you... poverty <laughs> off brand Joe Shiesty. Baker Mayfield. Yes, you're Baker Mayfield. Joe <laughs> Burrow is everything Baker Mayfield yes. wishes he. Yes. Wow. I'm sorry, Browns fans. We didn't even start the video yet. What's good, everybody? Uh, welcome to NFL Trivia. We cooked up some of the most difficult NFL trivia questions. Chase is the host of our show today, as you can tell by his Let's beautiful suit. Oh, yeah. that he's literally ripping through. Uh, I'm not gonna be standing up because I'm bricked up. Uh, got the vibes on, and we're really ready to get rocking and rolling. I did a couple of these videos in the past, but I had literally no friends, right? So it was just me reading off the computer screen. So if I wanted to cheat the answer, it was really easy. Like I could just right. Google it, edit it out. I guess technically I could do that here, but I've got my host in front of me. So yeah. we're gonna rock and roll with this. We had uh, one of our amazing Discord mods write up actually some questions, Zach. Love you. So Sir. we have a bunch of good questions here. Let me know how you guys do. I don't know exactly how many questions we have, but at the end, we'll know. Tell me if you're smarter than me. Just to let you know, if you do better than me in this quiz, you are a sweaty loser who never goes outside. If you do worse than me, you're an absolute casual. You probably don't even watch football. You just look at the stat yeah. sheet and it's embarrassing to call yourself a football fan. Just so we're clear. So you're still a loser either way. You're a huge loser. <laughs> you have to score the exact same as me or you're so beta. I feel like we're live right now. I know. Because we're sitting like in here. It, it does feel we're like in the it. MMG live studio, by the way. But whatever. Hey, let's kick it off. Should we have like a prize? Like how to be a millionaire? Do I get something if I do well? I mean, um, should we? Guys, in the comments, if you want to let us know a, a good way to add a little spice, you know, a reward, yeah. a something or other, if I do well on these, let us know. But this is our first trial one. If you guys love it, let us know. If you hate it, f you. Question Just, one. Uh, this mother f I guess I shouldn't start off just swearing. We can't. We can't use <laughs> Because yeah. this is a YouTube video. Yes, yes, yes. No F-bombs. <laughs> All right. This dude's been in the media a lot lately. I guess his whole career. Oh, what no. teams has Antonio Brown played for? Oh, shoot. I thought you were just going to ask who the player was. I was like, nope, Antonio nope. Brown. What teams has Antonio Brown played for? I just did. This is like Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah. I just did an Antonio Brown scoring in every Madden, like getting a touchdown in every Madden. Okay, so you should get this easy. Steelers. Yep. Drafted to the Steelers. Technically, I don't know if they're going to count the technicality. He never played a game for the Raiders. He was signed to the Raiders, but he never made it to the regular season. He then played one game for the Patriots and the rest of his career in the Buccaneers. And maybe he wants to be on the Ravens, but probably not. So I think the correct answer is Steelers, Raiders, Patriots, Buccaneers, unless it's a trick question. That is right. That is correct. Eight? One for one, baby. One for one. Alrighty. So similar question here. What teams has Adrian Peterson played oh. for? This is a little bit of a, a little bit of a list here. This used to be so easy to answer. You literally could have said Minnesota Vikings. Right. And in the last two years, it's gotten insanely difficult. Starts on the Vikings. He goes to the Cardinals. He goes to the Saints. He goes to the Lions. He goes to the Titans. He goes to the Seahawks. I'm missing a team. <gasps> Washington. It's actually the Washington Redskins, isn't it? Because they weren't the football team when he played for them. So I can be racist. <laughs> yeah. Washington Redskins. Yes, that is Yo, correct. did you see they got... Oh, is correct? That's all seven? Well, or there is, that is all of them? only six. Vikings, Cardinals, Redskins, Saints, Lions... Titans. No, and the Seahawks. Okay. Well, then that's not on Let's here. Let's go! I'm literally, I'm literally smarter than the question. I'm literally <laughs> smarter so. than the question. Yeah, he played for the Seahawks. He played a game okay. for the Seahawks. Okay. Because Carson was down. and That should be plus two. He was on the Seahawks for a straight up one snap. Kind of like Antonio sure. Brown with the Raiders. But he, literally Antonio like Brown a, even played. Dude, but Adrian Peterson in that game of the Seahawks, he tied Jim Brown's rushing touchdowns record because he got a touchdown. Really? Li on like probably 10 carries. He got a touchdown. Jim Brown's just pissed. I would be pissed. <laughs> They signed him to a poverty ass franchise like the Seattle Seahawks. Third question, same format here. This dude has a lot of grit. He just high Cooper motor. Cup? I think it's Cooper Cup's brother. Oh god. What teams has Ryan Fitzpatrick oh, shit. played for? <laughs> they got the same beard going oh, too. Oh my god. You know what's funny is is uh whoever wrote these questions, I think they're like predicting my future Madden videos. Because I wanted to do a video where I score with Ryan Fitzpatrick in every Madden. Because okay. the meme is basically he's played for so many teams. But holy shit, dude. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Let's just start out with the with the easy ones. Yep. Miami Dolphins, Washington. 
Washington football team. He actually has played for the football team, not the Redskins. So football team, Dolphins. Um, He played for the Buccaneers. That's really when Fitzmagic came about. And then they subbed Jameson or something. Oh God, he's got to have played for like nine teams. He played for the Bills. He played for the Bills for like the longest part of his career. There's four. Um, four out of nine. No shot. It's nine. Four oh out of nine. You have Bucks, Dolphins, Washington football team, and Bills so far. Thanks for the hint, by the way. Love to see that. Do I get a phone a friend? Can I call like a sweaty loser? <laughs> Big dude, tell me this. Um, Jets. He okay. played for the Jets. There's five. I'm trying to remember where he got drafted. I don't remember a rookie Ryan Fitzpatrick. In fact, mm -mm. I don't even know what Ryan Fitzpatrick looks like without the beard. True. I have to assume when he was a rookie, he didn't have a beard. I have literally no idea what he looks like. Jeez, this is actually you really You got five difficult. out of the nine. I'm, I'm almost going to have to start guessing teams. Why don't I remember where he just recently was? You have Bills, Jets, Bucks, Dolphins, Washington football team so far. I need four more. Four more. Where did he end up? This dude gets tossed around like your daughter. That's facts. If I had a daughter, she would get tossed around. <laughs> and it would be her fault. <laughs> It'd be my wife's fault because I'm definitely marrying a whore. <laughs> yeah. It'll yeah. be my fault. She's taking after her mother. Yeah. All right. Not nothing new about it. Four more. I wish I knew Madden. One of these, like, I can't tell you that. No hints. No hints. Okay. okay. Well, I'm going to go through my head and I'm going to name teams that he has not played for for myself. I'm just going to go through the divisions. He has not played for the Lions. He's not played for the Packers. He's not played for the Vikings. He's not played for the Bears. Whole NFC North is out. Okay. In my head. Indianapolis Colts. No. Let's go through playoffs teams. You ever played for the Chiefs? No. Do you ever play for the Bengals? I I have no idea. Titans, have you ever played for the Titans? Something in my brain tells me played for the Titans, but I don't know if that's true either. I, like a you gotta timer. Get, I was about to say, you got to give me a timer. Doom, doom. All right, give me a 15-second timer, but if I guess a team correctly, you got to let me keep going. Okay. Um, I'm going to guess Cincinnati Bengals. Okay. Is that a yes or no? Yes. It's a yes? Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, so I'm at a six of nine? Yes. Classic. Just stay on that. Six of nine. Nice. I actually will die on this, on this hill. Uh, I guess I'm going to guess... I'm going to guess Ravens now. That is wrong. No! Six of nine. What are the three other teams he played for? Well, the the Bengals and this other team is also in the Super Bowl. The, Ram the Rams. The Rams? When the f*** did he play for the Rams? Yep. So we have Rams, Bengals. You got Bills. The Rams is where he got drafted. Okay. Dang it, that's why I didn't know. I would never would have known where Ryan I would love Fitz to see a pic picture of him I when he was drafted, that. honestly. I literally just remember I need that. to see a picture of him when he yeah, was drafted. Yeah, hey, Ty, can you pull up a picture of Ryan Fitz, no beard? <laughs> <laughs> what if he had a fat-ass beard, though? No You'd shot. never know. Dude, he's like 22, you 21. Never know. Look at Joe Shiesty. You know when Joe Shiesty's 30, he's going to have a sexy ass beard. <laughs> but right now, he's bare face. He's like, he looks like me right now. Stop the cap. <laughs> Okay, this other team went out of the playoffs first round. Titans. He did play for the Titans. Titans. I, ugh, I can feel that for some mm. reason. The last team that you did not get was the Texans. Literally what? So that when? is Rams, Bengals, Bills, Titans, Texans, Jets, Bucks, Dolphins, and the poor Washington football team. The Washington Commanders, you racist True. pig. True. You absolutely. That is misogynist. such a shitty name. You know why they're the Washington Commanders? Because they command women to do whatever they want. I guess they yeah. switched from racism to misogyny. I guess so. Other category here, we're gonna go a little head to head. Ooh. My head against your head. <laughs> yes. Boy, you're. <laughs> If that's the case. All righty. Who has more rushing yards oh, this season? I like this category. Nick, my chub. Nice. Or Najee Harris. I can't tell if this is a trick question because I know Nick Chubb is a stud, but he, he was injured for a pretty significant part of the year. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say Najee Harris. That is incorrect. <laughs> It is Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb had more rushing yards and was injured. This, oh, so God. this is going to throw another wrench for you. Next one, Derrick Henry or Aaron Jones. D. Hen no, was injured no. as well. Yes, know. You know what? I actually do know this. Aaron Jones isn't even the lead rusher on the Packers. Isn't that insane? Mm. He has a ton of touchdowns, a ton of receiving yards, but I'm pretty sure A.J. Dillon has more rushing yards than Aaron Jones. I'm going Derrick Henry. That is correct. Yeah. Dude, Derrick Henry was in the top five rushing yards leader like literally six weeks after. His yeah, our quiz game, we so. just did on MMG Live probably helped with that one because we did. Uh, oh, you're so right. That's how I learned yards. about. Yep. That's how I knew AJ Dillon didn't have yep. more than Aaron Jones. Yes. We have next up who has more rushing yards this season? Mark Ingram or Sony Michelle? Mark Ingram or Sony Michelle? Wow, that is a sweaty question right there. I don't know the rushing yards on either of them. Here's the problem Kamara is the lead back for the Saints, but they tried to take the workload off of him for Mark Ingram. Daryl Henderson was the workhorse back for the Rams, and Sony Michelle was taking the work off him. So it's basically two second string mm -hmm. running backs. Mm -hmm. Out of pure
pure Heisman bias. I'm going Mark Ingram. It is Mark Ingram by three by yards. Three rushing yards. Three. <laughs> three. Dude, if anybody, okay, did anybody actually know that off the top of their dome? There's no shot. If they said they did, they're lying. Yeah, that's pretty much a 50 50. All right, next one we have most rushing yards this season James Robinson or Lamar Jackson. Oh, a starting running back versus a starting running back. Right? It'll be really impressive if Lamar has more because Lamar was so hurt, but Jaguars are poverty. I'm going to say James Robinson because of Wheel of Mutt bias. Because I had him on a Wheel of Mutt. Okay. He's a god. I'm saying James Robinson. It is actually a trick question. They are completely tied. Oh, they both have the same exact bag. rushing yards. Yeah, how, does that count as a loss? Seven, 767. They each have exactly 767. How the hell does that happen? Really? They, should, they should tally the inches so I can get this question correct. They should like go back in and see how many extra inches like a ball was like 76 767.2 right all right i'll take a i'll take a little trick question we won't tally that one who has more receiving yards Ooh. another question here this one's gonna this is three players we have jalen waddle and amari cooper oh god it's or yep. just cooper cup so i'm adding together the receiving yards of jalen waddle and amari cooper Yep. Is that number greater than Cooper Cup's receiving yards? Alone, I think yes. the only reason this question be written is because Cooper Cup still has more. And I know that the record was 1,964 by Megatron in a single season. Yep. And Cooper Cup, despite the extra game, did not beat it. But it was close. So Cooper Cup had 1,900, I think 37, something like that. There's no way both Waddle and Amari Cooper were over 1,000, even by a small margin. It's Cooper Cup. That is correct. <laughs> you read that one like a book. Good shit God on damn. question, writer. I just hate your ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is how you do good on the SAT, boys. Next one, who has more receiving yards this season? Brandon Cooks versus Michael Pittman. Michael Pittman had an amazing second half of the year. Brandon Cooks was the only good receiver on the Texans, and Davis Mills actually played really well. I'm going Brandon Cooks. Incorrect. Damn, <laughs> it is Pittman. Pittman had more it is than Pittman. Brandon Cooks? Yep, he did. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure Cooks was over 1,000, so Pittman had to have been over. Wow, that's yeah, impressive. Two very good seasons. Damn it, Brandon Cooks was pretty good on my fantasy team. I'm a little sad right now. Okay, here we go. We got a really good one here. Who has more receiving yards this season? Oh, no. Probably the, I would say the two, maybe the two best wide receivers in the league right now. Oh, God. Jamar Chase, rookie of the year. Justin Jefferson. Oh, I'm so glad this one. I'm so glad this is a question. Justin Jefferson was so slept on this year. Justin Jefferson absolutely has more. It's like 150 more. But the only people anybody talks about is Jamar Chase. I love Jamar Chase. I love Joe Shiesty. But holy shit, Justin Jefferson literally was the second league leader in receiving yards i don't think anybody knew that is correct justin jefferson yep that is correct i, I would have got that i would have said jamar right chase. everybody would because yeah. you'd be like jamar chase he's a god he had 252 yards in a game yep next category we are doing is what are these players real names oh fuck. <laughs> i am chapped so a lot of times you just see the back of their jersey or like their nickname you know yeah. when they when they pull it up on the screen so it's like rappers dude like no True. rappers real name is what you would like think. what is 21 savages name it's dude he's from london it's yeah. probably like sir peppington the third <laughs> all right here we're starting off with a good one this is the most overrated quarterback in the nfl right don't now don't say what i'm gonna say you're, you're gonna say dak prescott what is dak prescott's no. real name god he's such a cowboys hater <laughs> Um, I actually know this one. A lot of people say it's Dakota Prescott, but that's actually not his full name. So it's a misconception. His real full name is Rain Dakota Prescott. Correct. How do you spell Rain? We're getting a little spelling in here because oh, I'm so shit. good at it. So <laughs> it's not Rain like Rain that falls from the sky. That's R A I N. His Rain is like pain. It is R A Y N E. Yes, that is correct. I'm this is a good category a little, for me. I'm very good. Spelling. Throwing a little trick question in there. Nope. Okay. Uh, this player just took an L. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's Debo Samuel's real name? His real name is not D. Okay, I guess now that I think about it, Debo isn't really a real name. I would have got, yeah. I, I figured his first name was Debo. I thought that for sure. Yes. Oh, God. I actually, if I had a phone a friend, I'd use it. I'm actually just going to take the hardest of L's. I okay. have no clue. What is his real name? Tyshawn Raekwon Samuel. I don't know where you get just Debo eating, from just that. eating up the stereotype right but now. <laughs> I don't know where Debo is coming from. That's Maybe like just a, a childhood that's nickname. That's like a Key and Peele skit. Yeah. Tyshawn Raekwon Samuel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it must just be his nickname, and it stuck so hard that people People just call him that. Oh, shit. Oh. That's my pump. Oh. <laughs> you got knocked the fuck out. White people.
Okay. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. What? All right, I'll take that L. I will. I I might have butchered his first Tai Shun. Tai Shun. How do you spell it? T Y S H U N. It'd be Tai Shun. Tai Shun. Wow, that is bizarre. Yeah, it's I so like crazy Debo. though. We talk about Debo Samuel every single day of our lives, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Like especially these last three weeks, yeah. like Debo Samuel, so good. Debo Samuel. Yeah. You don't even know. His don't real even name. know his real name. That's crazy. That's so true. But we could say the same thing about literally every rapper ever too. Yeah. What is Moneybag Yo's name? I bet a lot of money that his first name is not Moneybag, <laughs> and his last name is <laughs> not, not Yo. Yo. That's so true. Okay, next. Next one. What does OJ Howard stand for? So I guess it's meaning like, what's his real name? I seriously used to know this one. It is crazy weird. It's like J Jarius. Jarius is in there somewhere with a J, I think. Um, there is a J in there. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Chase. Is there a Howard in there too? Possibly an O. <laughs> you. Um, is it Ojarius? Is that his first name? That's very close. So I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'll yes, take the L. You're wrong. But I know it's something like that. Otarius Jabari. Otarius Jabari Howard. There was a point in time where I knew that. I actually was like looking at his name, so I looked it up, and then I was like, what? Yeah. Otarius Jabari Howard. Yep. I won't forget now. New category, Super Bowls. Okay, I think I do this. Okay. Who picked off Russell Wilson on the one yard line when he should have handed it off to Marshawn Lynch? Sorry, Seahawks fans. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I had to relive that. that Malcolm, was a real Malcolm Butler. That easy is dub. correct. That easy, is correct. Easy cue. I actually, ju that just came up because uh, that was when Tom Brady was still on the Pats. Yeah. And it just was like his memories. He 20, just 24, crazy. he could have very well had yep. one less Super Bowl ring. Well, you already know the Lions are going to be a part of this one. So I'll give you one team. Oh, no. Name eight teams who have never won a Super Bowl. Name eight teams who have never won a Super yes. Bowl? So technically seven because I gave you the Lions. Oh, yeah. That's just I would have gotten that one. That's just an easy one. I think one. I might have gotten that one. Yeah. In total, there's like a lot actually it's really surprising for how long the league has been around they should realize how important dynasties are in football yeah i think there's like 14 teams who haven't won a super bowl here's a crazy one arizona cardinals the most depressing one buffalo bills the bills went to i believe four straight like back Ooh, to back really? to back to back super bowls and they lost all four Oh. And they had a hell of a shot this year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got So it. we're getting the depressing ones out of the way. The Lions, obviously, we've been to so many Super Bowls. Probably been to 10 or 15, and we just lost them all. Browns or poverty? I'm going to say Browns. Did I just get out? Nope. That's correct. Browns is one? You know who else is a depressing one? I just remembered Titans. Titans were like a Titans. yard away from a Super Bowl, and they didn't get it. And that was, their, that was the only Super Bowl that they really had a shot in. Now let's name some poverty franchises that like just clearly have not won one. You know what's funny? I feel like the Jets might be a trap call. I'm not going to say Jets. Like, I feel like there's a chance maybe the Jets actually won one at some point in history. So I'm not going to say that. Chargers. Yep. That's six. I'm pretty sure I saw a stat that since Joe Burrow won that playoff game, it was like so monumental. Mm -hmm. So I'm also going to say the Bengals. Unless they won it in like 1950, I don't think the Bengals won one. That's correct. Wow. Yep. That's like Seven. the Bermuda Triangle. Someone said this. Someone on the Pat McAfee show said this. The Bermuda Triangle of shitty football. Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns, Detroit Lions. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, the Bengals. Guys, we're recording this before the Super Bowl. You're probably going to... Most of you are seeing this before the Super Bowl. There's a chance yeah. the Bengals take it home. Yeah. That's Rams, and it ends that curse. So, That'd be cool. Like, I guess three weeks from now, we could be wrong on this. But that's seven of eight. And oh, my God, I just remembered the most heartbreaking one. This is worse than any of the other teams. The Atlanta fucking Falcons, dude. Yes. Choking the 28-3 means they have never in history won a Super Bowl because they choked a 25-point lead. Because Ugh. Matt Ryan is standing back there, snapping the ball with 18 seconds on the clock in the third quarter when you're winning by 25. Mm -hmm. Why are you... Mm. Yeah. No end. It pisses me off. This okay. Time. You did good. You got all... All eight. All eight, baby. There are more teams, by the yes. way, guys. I know you're thinking of if you're your team, presumably, if you have one, but yep. I think there's like 12 or 14, so I got eight. Okay, so staying with the Super Bowl, name the last 10 Super Bowl winners. Mm. Does it have to be in order? I might goof the uh, orders. Nah, you don't got to do it in order. What a good guy. What a good host. Do the first, like, three in order. I can definitely do that. So we haven't seen Super Bowl 56. Yep. But if anybody's watching this, my prediction is the Rams. Buccaneers beat the Chiefs. Yep. Year before that, Chiefs beat the 49ers. Year yep. before that, Patriots beat the Rams. Patriots, 13-3. Yep. It was a disgustingly... Oh, I hated that Super Bowl. Yeah. Year before that, I'm pretty sure Big Dick Nick Foles <laughs> takes down... Tom Brady, Eagles. Yes. Year before that, this the the greatest choke of all time. It's Patriots beat the Falcons. Or now I'm out of order, aren't I? You're out of order. But I'm out of order, but I know I, the Patriots win one in the last yes. ten years in that yep. game. So I'm probably one year off. So if it wasn't that year, was that the year? that the Denver Broncos beat the Panthers. Yes. Denver Broncos. At some point here, Malcolm Butler picks off Tom Brady 
So there's another Patriots. So you're gonna have two Patriots. You know, Patriots beating the Seahawks. Yep. You're gonna have a Patriots yep. beating the Falcons. You got the Broncos and the Patriots if you're trying to go in order. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I'm trying to remember when Eli Manning beats Tom Brady. I don't know if that's in the last ten years. I don't want to say Giants if I don't have to yet. So I'm not gonna say it yet. Oh, oh my God! There was a Ravens. The Kaepernick was in the Super Bowl in the last ten years, and they lost. The Ravens won that Super Bowl, and I correctly predicted that score in like seventh grade basketball really and i won like coach phillips came in and he's like if anybody whoever's closest to correctly predicting the score like i'll get you like a it was like a goodie basket mm -hmm. and get cookies and shit i mean like seventh grade yeah and i perfectly predicted it was 34 31 ravens wow i like almost remember that to that day i could Damn. be wrong reciting it now but i got it right so ravens yep did miss a year just i did if you're trying to track yeah like... i am at some point big ben beats larry fitz I had it been in 10 years. I'm going to say Steelers. Oh, is that outside of 10 years? Yep. Shit. I'm wrong now. I already, I just fucked it. Damn it. I was yeah. doing so good. So what two did I miss? So you had the Giants. You Fuck. didn't say it. So in order, Bucks. So you had this. You mm -hmm. had Bucks, Chiefs, Patriots, Eagles, Broncos, Patriots. Then it was Seahawks. I don't think you said that. <gasps> That's when Legion of Boom yeah. shit on the Broncos. It was like 43 to 7. Yep. Ah! Seahawks, then Ravens, and then the Packers, then the Giants. What? Oh my God, my brain is fried then. I can, if you had ever asked me who more recently won a Super Bowl, Packers or Steelers, I'm saying Steelers every day. Of the mm -hmm. week. I got to sworn I watched that Steelers Super Bowl. Oh, I, I guess I think I never watched that Packers Super Bowl. I don't even know yeah. who they played. Do you know who they no. played? I don't even. I don't remember that at mm -mm. all. But Aaron Rodgers at least has a ring. I know that. Yes. Which is good news. Good. I'll take my L. Good I'll eat Super my Bowl. L. It's all right. All right. We're going to get a little history in with the NFL Ooh. here. Who is the greatest career rusher in NFL history? It's pissing me off. Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith. Emmett. Emmett. Run it with that shot. <laughs> Emmett Smith. Okay, you should get all Two these. Two bad bitches like I'm Evan Smith. If you don't get all these, your account should just get deleted. NFL career receiving yards leader. Jerry Rice. That is correct. Oh, God, I'm that so was a easy. little. That, you were a little that was, concerned that on that one. That was a slow one. pitch softball. Yeah. That's when the girls say girls can play sports just as well as guys. And I walk up there and hit that bitch right out the It's just a dinger. Dinger. <laughs> Gone forever. Aaron, Aaron Hernandez. Hernandez. <laughs> Most field goals made in a career. Morton Anderson. That is incorrect. It's not more, this is a Morton Anderson helmet, you guys. Play Michigan State, one of the greatest carries of all time. It's not Morton Anderson. No. And then it's, then it's one of two people. Okay. It is either no. It is one of one people. It's Adam Vinatieri. That is correct. correct. I really thought it would be Martin Anderson. I'm not gonna lie. Most yards from scrimmage in a season. It is one of two players. Okay. It is either Jamal Charles or it is Chris Johnson. Okay. That was the style of running back that fucking dominated. They were so good, but they were so short lived. Like you know, they didn't yeah. have these historic careers. They just had really good five year careers. I'm gonna say Chris Johnson, CJ 2K. That is correct. Is. Yep. Got it, baby. Go. See Jamal Charles on his career is much better than Chris Johnson. He played for a lot longer and he was good for a lot longer. But Chris Johnson in his prime, in that like one or two years, demon. Alrighty, we are on to the last few questions here. Oh, let's get this money. You're doing pretty good. You've got a few few wrong, but... I'm not, yeah, I'm not unhappy at all with okay. how I performed so far. What team has the longest Super Bowl drought? It technically doesn't have to be the Lions because we won championship before it was the Super Bowl, but I'm actually going to say the Detroit Lions because we have never gone. That is incorrect. <laughs> Shit. It's probably the next most poverty, well, might be the most poverty team, the Jets. Oh, it was Super the Bowl Jets. two. Is when they were last. Super Bowl two. So we made it to a Super Bowl and lost? We must have. So I know we won the the championship, but it wasn't called the Super Bowl. Right, yet. I see what you're saying. So yeah. I don't know. Damn, the Jets. Okay, you'll get this one because this hit home really hard when we were actually both together uh back in Michigan. Oh no. We were watching this game. What is the longest made field goal in NFL 66 history? Sixty six yards, Justin Tucker. Yep. If anybody's First, have guess it, who? Yeah, the Lions. Lions. Yep. The Ravens had to create NFL history to beat a team as good as as the Detroit Lions. Very true. In January, we were undefeated for a little bit there. We were. We are literally undefeated in the whole first. So many teams <laughs> couldn't compete with us right then. Where does the Kansas City Chiefs play? They play in Missouri. That is correct. I only know that because of the Tyree Kill basketball game. Okay. Tyree Kill invited me to play in that basketball game, mm -hmm. and I'm literally looking for flights to Kansas. Yep. Because yep. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. So I'm an idiot. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I'm looking up like the facility that we're playing in. I'm like, is it Missouri? Where's yeah. that? How, how is Missouri there? Missouri. I don't think I've ever been there. Is it just like nothing? It was like, what's weird. It like? Yeah, it was weird. I mean, like... Like, is it a place that you would want to go to play football? 
<laughs> Actually, yes. Arrowhead is sick. Okay. I would go there before a lot of places. I don't think it's in anybody's top five. Okay. Yeah, but I'd go there before a lot of places. I'd go there before Minnesota. I'd go there before Cleveland, Cincinnati, Detroit, the Midwest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anywhere over there. <laughs> All right. Number five. Who threw more interceptions in 2021? Ooh. Stafford or Herbert? It's got to be Stafford. That is correct. I, I'm getting By targeted. two. I'm By getting two. Targeted. You know, Stafford did throw a lot. Of, Stafford throws some questionable balls. He actually does. Sometimes he just, he literally gets trauma, remembers the Megatron days, and just heaves it up there. And then he's like, oh, fuck. Megatron not actually down there. What game had the most combined score? Chiefs versus Rams in 2018. This is going to be a hard one. It, is, it sounds like it. Bengals versus Browns, 2004. Oakland Raiders versus Houston Oilers. 1963 or Redskins versus Giants in 1966. That's a, that's a tough one. Okay, it almost feels like a trap, but A, the end score of that game was 52 to 45. That is 97 points. If they score more than 97, I'm going to be fucking in the 60s. I'm going to be shocked. I'm going to go with A, Chiefs versus Rams 2018. That is incorrect. It is D, Redskins versus Giants oh in 1966 with a total score of 113. The Chiefs versus Rams with, was third. Bengals versus Browns in 04 was 106. Jesus. Chiefs versus Rams was 105. Oh, I had that wrong as well. And Oakland Raiders versus the Houston Oilers, which yeah. is no longer their name, yep. was 101. We have a true or false here. The Dayton Triangles was once an NFL team. I'm going to say no. That didn't sound right. It is true. And it made me think. Imagine playing the like NCAA mascot mode and being the <laughs> Dayton <laughs> Triangles. They'd be about as fucking corny as the Stanford trees. That is so true. Guys, we literally have NCAA 14 like sitting on the kitchen table downstairs. We're so, so ready, ready to play, to play mascot play. mode. That's going to be so Dayton much Triangles. Fun. Oh, I'm getting clapped Dayton on these triangles. last ones. Dude, the true or false are clapping me. Who has more rushing touchdowns? Cam Newton when he played for the Panthers or... Pete Johnson, fullback when he played for the Bengals. I've gotten dicked on by every trick question up until now. So I think the answer has to be Pete Johnson. Because that that's is, the trick answer. That is correct. By one touchdown. By one. Wait, so what's the numbers? Cam Newton had 75. Old Petey had 76. Old Petey. <laughs> old Petey J. Wow, that's wow. impressive. Is that our final question? One more, actually. We have one more. The final question, baby. This is not a record you want to break. This is for sure. Oh, In 2013, which of these quarterbacks broke a record after throwing a pick six in four straight games. That's an L, first that is of all. Hor How do you keep... Okay, they, can, they have to be kind of good because they maintained being a starter for four straight games. Well, you're going to laugh at all these quarterbacks then. <laughs> we got A, Ryan Fitzpatrick. No! We got B, Nick Foles. No! We got C, old ginger pubes, Andy Dalton. Oh, God. And we got D, Matt Schaub. It's pick either Ryan six. Fitzpatrick or it's Andy Dalton. And I'm going to say, am I correct that it's either A or C? That is incorrect. I'm really wrong on both. Yes. It was Matt Schaub then, wasn't it? Yes, that is uh, correct. It was D, Matt Schaub. The only reason, okay, I thought it would be Matt Schaub. The only reason I thought in my head was Matt Schaub is so poverty. There's no way he started four straight right? games. Yeah, that's why when you said these quarterbacks must be good, and I looked down, I'm like, ah. They're all Damn it, dude. Andy Dalton's actually pretty good. That's kind of disrespectful. I don't think I ever should have said Andy Dalton there. Wow, what a quiz. That actually was really hard. That Yeah. I didn't expect all of those to be as difficult as they were. Yeah. We definitely could have ramped up the difficulty, but if we had ramped up any higher, I literally would have guessed every question. True. You know what I mean? Right. So it had to be like attainable, but very difficult. Yeah, that was good. good I like that shit, a lot. boys. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was an absolute blast. Um, Let us know two things, because I want to keep doing this. Let us know if you enjoyed it. And let us know uh, if we can uh, add something, like if I get over over 50%, I can have sex with your mom. If I get under 50%, I have to go streak in the, you know, in front of your mom's house. <laughs> so either way, I'm, I'm having sex with your mom. <laughs> yeah. But you guys get the idea. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you to our host, Chase. Let's Killed get it. it, baby. And I'll uh, skip on naked. Peace.